Hey guys, Spritter here. Welcome back to Fishing North Atlantic. Here we are for another episode. Back on the hunt for some tuna. So we're back down here near Browns North where we were last time, but we're going a little bit north of where we were. Hopefully we can find something up in this area as well. We're going to do the same thing as we did last time. Drop it straight on the tuna's head every time we find one. So there goes our first one. Hopefully we can... Um, reel some in as well. Got two in that area which isn't too bad. There's a third one. Drop this one on its head as well. Got some swordfish up here as well which is good to see. Right so hopefully you guys have been enjoying this series so far. It's been doing really, really well on the channel. Um, you know, Fishing Baron C did really well for me when it first came out, and um, Fishing North Atlantic's doing just as well, if not better. So it's exciting to have um, a brand new fishing game and a good quality fishing game now with all these new updates out and stuff. So it's very, very exciting. One thing I was considering though was heading back to Fishing Baron C and running a, a new career series alongside Fishing North Atlantic as well but I don't know I don't know how you, it'll go if you guys would like to see that or not um, if you would let me know let me know in the comments section if you'd like to see the series on both games North Atlantic and Barrent Sea alright there's another tuna just here let's just throw another one on his head oh, what time is it Ooh, it's nearly midnight bit of late night fishing again. Certainly some um, swordfish and stuff down here as well. It's probably too dark to be able to see any fish swimming around on the surface. So we're still in our slow mo of course. I love this boat. It is slow but it's pretty cool. I don't know how we're going. We're not in the greatest of spots, I don't think. Uh, let's look at the map. Let's um cancel this. Let's do like a bit of a actually go down a bit. Actually get rid of that. Let's go there. 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 And like that. Just see if we find anything, we'll just drop it on its head again. But it seems to be quite empty through that area, so I don't know. We'll just do a little bit of a, a zigzag here and see if we can find any more in the area, otherwise, we might have to move again. Up there's a tuna there, behind, right behind the silver hake. Right, so we'll throw that on its head. only see the fins, I can make out the fins, but not the whole fish. I thought that was someone's boy then, but no, that's our marker. Alright, so we should head up here, and then the autopilot should flick us around to the right again. There we go, we'll head down this way. Another tuner on. I'm just going to throw this down right now, because because the way we turned, I don't know if it's going to be directly under the boat now or if it's under the boat on that on that curve there. So I'll we'll just throw it down there and hopefully it'll pick up something. There's two, two, three tuna right here. So fingers crossed, will give us something. Hasn't been a great deal of fish though in the area, as you can see. I think last episode it was a lot fuller than that, the sonar. So hoping we can bring in some more money and hopefully head towards getting the um, trawling boat. Need at least five million to get started. Right, there's another tuna right here. That one on its head. So that's half of our lines put out. Let's see how we go. 
didn't want to do that. A decent way to go. Up here, 800 metres, and we'll turn around and do another kilometre that way. Yeah, it's not overly populated with tuna down here. We know where the tuna's gone, but... I just think that's... Possibly... Because it's going to be under 100 metres down there where the tuna is... Um, we're not going to be able to catch it with a deep line. But um, if we have a look... Like, the tuna is found here and then here 18 days ago, so... It's not... Nothing's telling us that, that there's no tuna still here. But they're just obviously heading directly this way. They're just sort of going around in a circle. Uh, Pollock, I think they're ours. They are. Let's remove ours. Right, so we could still come down here and have a bit of a look. If we wanted to, but... Then the swordfish are heading this way. So I'm pretty sure we had... Let's put another marker here. I'm sure we had like... I'm sure they're like heading this way. So we can go out and try and get some swordfish if we need to. Alright, so three tuners in this area. That's good to see. But we'll wait till our line's ready to go and we'll get our next tuner that comes across. It's across the sonar. So still another five lines to put out. Hopefully you guys aren't um, getting too bored with this series, obviously with it being career mode, kind of taking things really, really slow. Trying to make sure you guys don't miss anything. Not sure, yeah, there are boys over there as well, aren't they? Pretty sure. Flashing over there is one of our, one of our deep lines. Right, so there's not a great deal of tuna in this area either, I don't think. Oh well, we'll just keep heading this way and we'll wait for the autopilot to do a loop and turn around. There's plenty of swordfish though, look. Three there, four, five. Five swordfish. That was two or three silver hake there as well. So we've got some pollock, some silver hake again, some more silver hake. There's a tuna. So we'll wait till he gets around about here and we'll try and drop it right on his nose. So another four to go yet. I think it's definitely. Um, bit different now with how we're going to drop these these deep lines and stuff down whereas before we'd just even if we didn't see the tuna there we'd just drop them anywhere and we'd still get you know two or three tuna on a line but now we've sort of got to wait try and drop it on their head make sure there's actually tuna in the area first all right some silver hake and some haddock Certainly a lot of silver hake and stuff in the area down here. Some more pollock and swordfish. Certainly um, really highly populated with swordfish down here. Not seeing a great deal of cod either though. So I've only got four lines left, so hopefully come across some more tuna. So as soon as he goes to turn, there we go, we'll drop it right now. So there's two there, so they should still land on their head, hopefully. Right, nine down, three to go. We've got Emery out helping us again, setting or preparing the deep lines. Don't know if um, deep line. There's no like preparing lines or anything. I don't think. Still plenty of pollock down here. There's still 
swordfish, more pollock. Certainly heaps down here. Alright, let's throw out another deep line to get that tuna down the bottom. Two more lines to go. There's another one here, but I don't think we'll be able to drop a line right on top of that one. Actually, yeah, no, we will. Okay, it's actually right down. Right down deep the bottom of the ocean there. Right, we need one more now, and then we'll throw out our last one. And you can go back to um, resting. Well, that was a tuna then, it's not a tuna. Let's turn those lights off. There's one, perfect. All right, so once again, we'll wait till you get to round about to the middle. Drop it on his nostril. And that'll do us. So if we travel that way and then as close as we can to that first line. Shut him down. Uh, we can't skip from here, can we? I think if we just go... I want to go just 18 hours. Um, how are we going? 1920. Let's... Uh, I'd like to skip one more, but I don't think I will. We'll just done it. Yeah, we will. We'll skip one more hour. I just don't know how long it's going to take us to, to reel them all in. Alright, so we'll get um, Emma out to Deep Line Hall with us. Turn all these lights back on. Let's start bringing in some of these big boys, hopefully. Nothing like some uh, late night fishing. What time is it? Yeah, 8 o'clock at night, so it's getting late. Coming up on our first one. There's plenty of tuna in the area, so hopefully we can get a decent amount. Once again, three on the line. They're, they're still making weird noise like as if they're trying to catch a tuna without us. Which is not actually moving. There we go, so three on that line. We'll see how much that weighed. 897, so not too bad. Hopefully we can try and get close to 15,000 kilos and get a good sale and get towards that uh, 5 million, which is our target. Getting pretty bloody close. This one, only two on this line. It's a bit of a bummer. Yeah, we probably left a little bit late to go back um, tuna fishing, but it is what it is. We'll get these guys on board and then see how we go. We might have to go back and do some more net or long line fishing or something. want to get a bit of a screenshot here. Alright, all this stuff needs to be cleared. God, this is still annoying having to do all this. Uh, catch. Yep, so 897 for our four. Click all these guys off. Still got the Still got them there. God, I wish you could just clear them. Like, have a button here, mark all as red or something. Still got messages there. Gonna have to go through off camera and just clear everything, I think. Right, so we'll come up on line three. 
going to start, head over to line four and start our turn. Four and five. Still some decent amount of lobster and crab and stuff down in this area. Really good area, I think. Right, coming up on deep line number three. Trying not to go tearing past it. Three tuner on, which is good to see. Be good to be able to do like a, a, a oh god, a custom character too to change, you know what we wear and how we look and all that sort of stuff would be pretty cool. It's only a little small thing, but still it'd be good to be able to to you know choose what you look like at the start. Right, so we'll have a look. All tuner on board. We've got eight. So probably just a bit under 300 kilos per tuner. Uh, what is that? Oh, that's that marker for yeah, where we are. Right, so head to deep line four. Swing around, head to deep line five. And work our way back to the west. Over there, we'll swing around and go back to the east again and finish this set off and hopefully get some decent cash again. Alright, what have we got? Three on. And it's not bad if we're getting three on. We've got three on every single time except for that once. So we must be still in a half decent spot. Good work, Emma. So we're 22.60 something, 31.41, so 900 kilos. Just under 900 kilos, I think. So we'll swing around, head to five. You can see six and seven just up here, flashing away. Wonder how a daunting would be being out at this time of night fishing and having the water as pitch black as it is. I know I'd be pretty concerned there's something there that I can't see. Reel this guy in. We've got our first swordfish on. Took a little bit longer than I thought it would to get our first swordfish. Beautiful. Kind of, you just kind of, I've kind of worked out that you just got to leave your marker in a certain spot and let the fish come to you. If you can get it lined up you know, up and down in the right spot. Then when the fish swims back left and right, I said just let them come to you and it makes it a lot easier. So this will be line six halfway through, so we're probably on target to hit maybe 10,000 kilos. We're still not quite filling the boat, but hopefully not too far away. So was it 266? That's not a bad size swordfish actually, 266. Let's see our other lines over here. Right, what have we got? Three big fat tuners, fingers crossed. So we want we want the big fatties. So 
So there is a, um, I can't remember what the name of the YouTube channel is now, but something I found on YouTube where they actually go out to um, long line fish for cod and haddock and all that sort of stuff. Um, I don't think they're in the North Atlantic, I think they're somewhere else, but I'll see if I can find them. Oh, it's Alaska, there it is. So it's EIS Alaska, if you guys want to check them out. Um, they've only got, oh, they've got 29,000 subs, so nearly as many as me. But they've been fishing for halibut, um, long line fishing for halibut. Um, sort of having a little bit of a look at their channel at the same time I'm driving the boat. A lot of a lot of halibut stuff. They've got show you how to smoke salmon. Um, cod. Fishing for cod and stuff like that. Then they got net fishing, fishing for salmon. It's pretty cool to actually check them out and see what they do. I don't think there's many people on YouTube that actually, you know, record this style of thing in real life. That I can find anyway. As I said, EIS Alaska is the guys that I found. If you guys know of anybody that um, does similar stuff, long line net fishing, trawling, any of that stuff that you think we might enjoy watching, you know, leave it. Leave their name of their channel down in the comment section for everyone to have a look at. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, what else have they got? Um, crab, or Tanner Crab it's called. Uh, blizzards, let's so say fishing in blizzards and stuff like that. I think it's maybe um, mainly halibut fishing and that sort of stuff, but they do a bit of everything. K Katoi? I'm not sure what type of fish that is, Katoi. Offload. Um, salmon. So more salmon fishing and that sort of stuff. That's pretty cool, interesting. Also seen another documentary as well um, on YouTube the other day. This massive ship, I think it's in Russia somewhere. I think it's called Fishing. It's, it's like Area 51. It's not obviously the one that's in America, but it's like a fishing Area 51. I think it's in Russia where they've got this big mothership um, which has actually got a cannery on it. So they've got other boats, so similar to like our boat, that'll go out and they'll trawl for fish and they'll bring it into the mothership, unload it to there and then they'll process it on the mothership. Now, you know, freeze it, cut it, put it into cans for canned tuna, canned salmon, all that sort of stuff. Um, and then they load that onto other boats which take it from the ship into, into the dock and then sell it onto the customers from there. I thought it was pretty cool. Something a little bit different. I've never seen a ship like that that actually has a full processing facility on board with the cannery and everything like that. It's actually pretty cool. That'd be one cool addition to this game, I think. If we could, um, you know, call in a boat to come and pick up our catch and bring us some some bait or you know even call in a helicopter I'm pretty sure we could do that in um it's a deadliest catch Alaskan storm I think it was you could call in a helicopter to come and actually get your catch and take it and sell it for you so if you're having to come back into town when you didn't really need to as I said the only issue we're going to have is not being able to bait at sea. That could be like a future DLC or something I guess. Future DLC with um, you know being able to call in helicopters to, to take what we've got into port. You know you call them in, they come and pick it up, you direct them where to go and where to sell it. That sort of stuff but that would be really cool. Right, so we've got eight, eight um, deep lines, 22 tuna, still only the one swordfish, we're 6,600 kilos. So we're still on target for 
say 9900, 10,000 kilos, depending on these four lines, so I'll be happy with 10,000 kilos. Obviously I'd rather get closer to 20,000, but I just don't think that's going to happen. So we'll go down to this line number 9, then we've got 10, 11, and then 12, just off in the distance there. Uh, let's check Emma, how's she going for deep on? Well, she's about the same as sorting crab, so I wonder how quick it's actually going to improve. Alright, so coming up on uh, line number 9. Fingers crossed we've got like 6 tuner on. Uh, no. Just one. And two swordfish. Just the swordfish may hinder our chances of getting to 10,000 kilos. Unless they're, you know, a couple of big 300 kilo ones. It's definitely the better animation for having two people pulling it on board. Sometimes. Alright, so 7299, so that was only 700 kilos, I think. Catch, yeah, 691, so that wasn't, wasn't that great. But still, you know, fish on the boat is better than fish in the sea. Alright, so three to go. I don't think we're going to hit that 10,000 now. We're lucky to get to get to the nine, I think nine and a half. So one thing as well with harpooning, I wonder if you can only harpoon during the day. And I know it's got to be. I think it's got to be like a calm and a very clear day to go harpooning, from what I remember I was told. Don't know how accurate that is, but yeah, that's what I that's what I was told. The information passed on. Three tuners. That's a good sign. So we still only had that one line that only had the two fish on it, so it's not a bad spot down here. Right, so 8204, so it was about 900 kilos, so that wasn't too bad. So if we get two more 900s, that's going to be enough. Yeah, 904, two more of those, that'll be enough for us to actually hit that 10,000 mark. So we might still get lucky yet. Yeah. Um, how about quotas looking? Quotas are still looking pretty good on everything. 150,000 kilos of lobster. Um, I've also heard that lobster is profitable at the moment. Um, but the issue that people are having is it takes so long to set the pots and haul the pots and all that sort of stuff. So they can go and do, you know, a heap of lobster fishing and make half a million dollars, which is good. But it takes them, you know, four or five times as long as, you know, being able to do this. So this will take us like maybe half an hour to set and haul. Whereas, you know, setting and hauling and filling your boat with lobster, you know, from what I've heard, it takes, you know, two, two and a half hours or something. So it's quite, quite a process, but definitely something we want to get into. But I think, I don't think we'll do it on this boat. I think we'll definitely try and look at the knots guilty um, and be able to set down, you know, strings of 10 pots at a time. Hopefully heavily populated areas and be able to bring in the lobster that way. Um, the person that I was watching, he was up in this area up here. 
Like all up and in through here, he figured that this is where the lobster would be. Up and in through here. I'm pretty sure it was Red Coat Viking, if I remember correctly, that I was watching. Yeah, so that was his spot, but as we know, each and every um, each and every game is different, supposedly. So where I'm catching fish now, you might not find anything. Where you're, you're where you're hitting the mother load, I might not find anything. So, yeah, it's just a bit of luck. You just got to find that good spot that's in your game, which oh, I think that's really good. So that way I can't say, hey, go down here because this place is swarming with with fish. Because you know each and every game is unique, which is really cool. All right, oh, these swordfish. Going to stop us from hitting that 1,000 kilo mark. Oh, 10,000 kilo mark. We're going to be close. It'll be like 9,800 or something, I think. But still, I've only got three on the line, so I still haven't seen four or more, which some people have commented saying that they've had before. I don't know if they're still pulling my leg or if it was a glitch or a bug. I don't know. But I still haven't bloody seen it. All right, so... Nine, eight, four, five. So not bad. Um, actually, Emma can go and repair. Repair for a little while. Let's um, turn these lights off. Let's wait for her to disappear. Yep, she's gone. Let's check our prices again for tuna five twenty three at Yarmouth. Lunenburg thirty one seventy six. Lockport thirty six oh nine. Ooh, okay, Lockport and Lunenburg are the only two, really. Lockport and Lunenburg. Lockport's definitely the better one to go to for both. Look at the price of swordfish at Lockport. Uh, can we make it? Should be able to. Alright, let's dock here, sell our fish. So, 42.28 instead of 25 bucks. That is awesome. 35.86 instead of 20. That's awesome as well. We're now 2.8 million, which is good. Um, check their availability. I think this is yeah, just where the Ocean Runner is, which isn't bad. It's a good boat. Alright, let's check the bar for some tips. No, nothing. No missions, actually, either. Um, check the bank. 1.6 million will get us to 3.8. It'll be 4. 4.4. Four. So close. Let's see if I can go double loan. There we go, we can. Double loan. Awesome. Now, that's going to mean we have to make some money pretty quick but let's I'm gonna have to try and find out where we get um, that boat from again uh, not the Atlantic catcher was it the coastern? no the Dexter there we go it's in Yarmouth can't believe I didn't already know that I should have so let's head to Yarmouth Looks like next episode, we're going to go trawling. We have to pay that loan back as quick as we can, though. Um, Alright, come into here. Let's go to the bar. No tips. Got some missions. I was told by someone as well in one of the recent episodes that apparently they made like $2 million from doing missions, which... I don't know. Sounds good, but I don't know if that's actually true or not but yeah alright let's buy the Dexter boom but now required to freeze and stack all fish before selling them you'll need at least four crew members yep okay uh, we don't need to do that let's go to our crew crew house everybody can come back let's go to our upgrades storage certainly want to upgrade it as much as we can 
and the engine. Radar. Doesn't matter too much, but I like to get the radar. Autopilot would be good. Mission quota, no. Fish sonar, yes. Already got the best one, good. Freezer times two. We want to go stacking time. Well, stacking times two will be fine. I don't think we need the three. Gutting times two. Headline sensor. Uh, is that? Do we need both? I think we need both. Okay, what's the difference? Okay, Hox, it measures the height of the trawl opening, the height from the headline to the foot rope, from the bottom of the clearance, detects the rate of fish, mass entering the net. Yeah, we'll do that one. There we go. Uh, door sensor, yes. Actually, do we need that? Yep, we do actually. Uh, thruster, yes, we've already got it. And searchlight, already got it. Alright, so let's check out. Perfect. So we will be heading out and doing some trawling next episode. Um, we don't really need to do anything here. Uh, as I said, still no tips. Uh, dock, we don't really need any, any of this stuff. If you guys have got any idea for a name for the boat, well, let me know. Leave it in the comment section and um, we'll try and get it I'm bloody headless at the moment. We'll try and get it put in um, at some stage. I might be a couple episodes ahead by the time you guys see this one. So it won't be straight away, but we will get it changed. But um, if you guys enjoyed this one, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the series so far. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Brito. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.